Yemen's Prime Minister says secessionists have staged a coup in the southern port city of Aden. That's where the government had been based for the last few years. There are reports of several people being killed in fighting between pro-government forces and separatists. This mobile phone footage appears to show people arriving in the city. Thousands of protesters have been gathering against the internationally recognized and Saudi-backed government. The demonstrators are backed by the United Arab Emirates, which is supposed to be Saudi Arabia's ally in Yemen. Even a northern Houthi control of Yemen is not necessarily a bad situation for the UAE. It's only the Saudis who will be really upset. Saudi has lost a very important proxy country in Yemen. It now has a threat in its own backyard. The UAE has now claimed a new territory in the region that it claimed to be its own. And the Iranians, although they haven't put all their weight behind the Houthis, if Houthis are causing to secure the northern Yemen, its only ally will be Iran. So Iran gains either. So the biggest loser in all of this is, is Saudi Arabia in terms of regional implications. I think we're headed towards a separate Yemen based on current situation. The conflict in today's Yemen is complicated. The country used to be divided between North and South Yemen until unification in 1990. But the differences never really went away. Since the fight with the Houthis began in 2015, the secessionists have fought for control over air and sea ports of Aden. Last week, southern forces led by the man appointed by President Abdurrabu Mansur Hadi as the governor of Aden announced to overthrow Hadi's government. Major General Edrus Zubaydi rejected the deployment of northern forces to the south. Now the future of President Hadi is in question. He has been based in Saudi Arabia, along with his Prime Minister Ahmed bin Dagher, who struggled to control southern Yemen despite support from Saudi Arabia. Yemen's elected government was pushed out of the capital Sana'a in the north, and now it doesn't seem to have a place in the south as well. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.